in a new way to try and get drivers to slow down and get this it's a lot cheaper than anything that's been tried before it's putting paint brushes to the pavement local 12's Christian Hauser joining us now live from the intersection mural the first one here in Cincinnati to show why you might see them popping up more but also how it's hoped that they can bring communities together good evening Christian Good evening, Kyle. I'm at the intersection of Dremen Avenue and Borden Street in South Commonsville. This is just a block away from Beekman Street. Now, this is a straight cut through street and one that neighbors say has too many drivers speeding through the intersection. Skyview 12 shows you what a bright splash of color the mural is on a regular street. It's hoped that when drivers are coming down Dremen Avenue, it'll catch their eye and they'll slow down. We have a bus stop here for kids to be picked up for children in the morning. We want them to be safely. Not only that, we have seniors here in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We want them to be safe also. Everyone I talk with says speed is an issue in the area. The mural is the first one in a pilot project. It's part of the city's Vision Zero project. Vision Zero is our new initiative to eliminate all fatal and severe pedestrian crashes. Melissa McVeigh says she noticed other cities doing it and thought, why not here? That gives motorists the feel that, you know, they're driving through somebody's community, a place where people are out walking with their children, um, and it's a place that you should maybe drive a little slower. The city didn't pay for the mural. The money for supplies was all raised through private donations. But Timothy Kennedy did lend his painting expertise to make it happen, something he was excited to do. Just because it's going to be enhance the community and help the, you know, from the safety of kids crossing the streets and and doing all that and then for the elderly people crossing the street. So I was very excited to get involved in it. Kennedy wasn't the only one who helped though. This was a community effort. We oh, painted. Each, painted. Everyone had a square to paint. Gotcha. So And children. We also had children painted also. Now you may be wondering why not just put a stop sign up like the one you see. Well, the federal guidelines that the city has to use when it comes to maintaining speed and uh, traffic in areas actually won't let stop signs be used for speed control. Those are only when there are sightline issues and cars need to come to a stop and maybe kind of inch out just to, to double check before they pull on somewhere. But the city and these communities are hoping that these beautiful murals can help stop drivers and give the city and the neighborhood something beautiful to look at. Live in South Cumminsville, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. All right, Christian, sounds like a good idea there. The city is reaching out to all the community councils to teach them how to make a mural like this happen in their neighborhoods. The best part, they're not too expensive to create. Most should cost less than $500. The police report